Thank you for clicking to this video. My name is Mario Ernesto and I do apostolate. So if you are learning or you are new in apostolate, this video might help you a lot. So, uh, but for those who are an expert or have been doing car interior for a long time ago, this video might not show you nothing new, but I really appreciate your presence here. here. So there are like uh, three, uh, three different ways how you can make a circle. I will show you one of them. I will show you from scratch how you can start drawing the circle and will be easy but if you never done something like this before it might be hard for you but just be patient and practice it that's all what you need i got a chip right here then i got a twine then i got a pottery pin then i have a pencil so it has to be done a nine inch and a half so divide a nine inch and a half by two it has to be four inch and three quarter so that will be the length of this twine and you got to type it one end on the pencil and with the other end on the pottery pins. I got it right here. Just find the center of the chipboard. You see I divide it by half. And then you just have to do it this way. This is all style. I have a tool how to do this, but I am showing you from scratch in case if, if you don't have a tool. We learn this in the school. So I think you, you know this process too. So I draw in a circle. And there it is. That circle, uh, then a smaller it is, harder it is to sew in. Then you have to cut it. And then I fold it by half. Why I fold it by half? Well, because I'm going to put a mark on it. I'm going to put four notches. There are two, then I'm going to force this chipboard on the other side and do the same thing. With four notches, that's more than enough for that piece, for me. But if you are learning, feel free to put a more, uh, that way it will be easier for you to sew in. Because remember, you gotta sew two pieces. And I got one done. So I got a pattern for this. And then I'm going to put glue on that binder. Then I'm going to put glue on this uh, a quarter of an inch headliner phone. I got it right there. So I uh, make sure uh, no wrinkle on it. And then put the chipboard on top and draw it all around. I am using a chalk. Uh, those ones were uh, the teacher used in the school in the United States, so I am using that one. So I got those four marking there. Now I'm going to cut it because I'm going to take in when I am sewing half inch. I, ha I have to make sure to give it half inch extra. You see me right there. I am not cutting on the line. I am cutting half inch away from that line. And that piece is done. So I'm going to uh, make those notches. I got it. So now I'm going to work on this black vinyl. And because uh, with the extra, the circle has right now 10 inch and a half. So it has to be, I have to find the half of this material and then divide it and then make a square or 10 inches so I find the half in there then I give it like five and a quarter and five and a quarter is ten and a half same thing right here those line believe me those marks are not necessary but if you are learning it's very important to uh, for you to know the process those who have a, a long time working on like, a poster, they know exactly this is not necessary. So I draw a square right there. You see now I put the circle in there and it's 10 inch and a half. You might say, why 10 inch and a half? Don't supposed to be a nine inch and a half? Yes. When that circle, when I done sewing, that circle will be nine inch and a half. And I have it right there. So now I just get this. Uh, there are uh, 
three different ways how you can make this there. I am using one way. I am showing you one way. So that means if you see somebody doing the, uh, uh, something similar and he use a different technique, but at the end, the result is the same as mine. So uh, it's just about ten technique. That doesn't mean he's wrong or I am wrong. No, it's just about different technique, different style. See, now I am putting the chipboard on top and I do the same thing as I did with the green vinyl drawing. I got it right there. I, and I, I, to make the circle, I can use the green vinyl to make the circle. But I am using the same chipboard. And I cut it half inch away from that mark. And you see me cutting right there. This is heavy duty vinyl. This vinyl is it doesn't stretch. Sometimes when the material is stretched, you have to use a different technique. You have to uh, cut the circle a little bit small. A little bit. Because the vinyl will stretch or the material will stretch. So I got it that part right there. So now I just made this cut in there. You might ask why I'm making those cut it? Well, because without those cut it will be like uh, you can still sewing without those cut it, but it will be like hard and will shrink. So my advice to you if you are learning, make those cut it. And don't make it all the way to the mark. Cut. Uh, like a little bit before so now I'm going to put glue on that piece of material but before doing that I have to uh, find the place where the circle is gonna be I have an extra phone as you can see on the side of the vinyl. So, but I, I, I have to know where that circle will be. And I know I put the material on top and I know that circle is going to be right there on top of that yellow mark. And I got him in there. Perfect. Put this on top. Then I put the vinyl on top. And you can see it right there. So, so far so good. I have to take this to the sewing machine. You have to have like a kind of skill. How to use the sewing machine to do this. If you don't know how to use the sewing machine, don't try to do this. First, you have to learn. You have to know uh, at least the basic how to sewing. So I put the material on one mark, then I will, I will start sewing a little by little. Remember this, don't pull none of those material. Just place them on top and sew it. Place them on top and sew it. If you pull the material what is on top, at the end you will have an extra vinyl. And there is no way how you can get rid of it. No way, so just place them on top and sewing. That's the way. Not even the bottom, don't pull the bottom because if you pull the bottom material, at the end, you will be short on the material where it's on top. And I am sewing a little by little. You will see one mark hidden exactly on top of the other one. Pay attention to that mark right there. I am not pulling none of those material. See right there? Awesome, huh? That's very important. If the first mark match each other, the rest will be matched. So just Keep sewing, don't pull it. 
when the material is stretched, you have to be careful. Be careful. There is a different technique with the material stretch how to sewing. You have to cut a little bit short. You might say, why short on surco? How you will cut it short? There is a technique, my friend, how you can uh, make a surco, especially when the material stretch a lot, how you can cut it. Those who have a long time working on a postery, they know it. They know the technique, my friend. So you see the other mark? Perfect. And yes, just put a little bit of speed, that way it doesn't consume too much time and you don't get boring uh, watching me sewing and right there perfect so uh, the first stitch is done I will put another stitch on top just to make it look good it is good right now but uh, I prefer the purpose of adding half a uh, total half inch because it have one quarter on the green uh, um, vinyl and the other quarter on is uh, behind so the total on the green spot will be half inch thickness now just sewing you see me, I am not using an uh, accessory for uh, the top stitch, like a guide for the uh, stitch. I am, I am doing it with the regular foot press. Not a big deal. This is done. So now I gotta take it to the table and I'm going to glue the uh, black vinyl to the phone. It is necessary to put uh, uh, glue, all depend. If you are doing a seat, if you are doing a table and you are putting a circle into the cover, uh, I prefer putting a, a phone. Right here you have to make sure to uh, don't stretch the vinyl when you are gluing it, don't stretch because you are, even if you cut them and sewing good, uh, when you stretch it will look like, uh, like if it's not a circle. So don't stretch the material. Just place them on, on glue them. You can see right there. If you pull it too much, it uh, will uh, lose that shape. And you can see it right there, my friend. It is just an idea how you can make a circle from a scratch. And you can see the green vinyl is a little bit higher than the black one. That's what I added a quarter of an inch extra on that part. And you can see it, look nice. I put the chipboard on top and it match. I uh, have to put the rule in there too. Just make sure you have nine inch and a half because that's the measurement that I have to be at the end. Let's see. Wow, you can see it right there, nine inch and a half. You might say, oh, uh, mister, you make it look so easy, but that's not easy. It is hard for me. I haven't tried and i still having a hard time my friend keep practicing don't give up i have been working on upholstery since i was a little child and believe me and i still learning so my best advice for you if you are learning about upholstery and you see something that is so hard for you the secret is this don't give up keep trying and trying and trying then at the end you will get it the purpose of this channel is just to give you an idea how you can make your own work. If you contact me because you are looking for work, that's not the purpose of this channel. Uh, I am not looking for work. 
and I am not looking for employees. It is just to give you an idea. That's all. Giving you an idea how you can make your own work. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video.